back to my channel the broke business content where i give you guys free tutorials on how to kind of use stuff and navigate you know save you some little bit of bucks <laughs> so yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in please do like okay there's nothing to like yet i haven't given you content but please do like please subscribe 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 guys we're looking at getting those thousand subscribers so that we can be monetized thank you so much guys for the support and for the support of my hair video which is doing absolutely well it's another how-to video so thank you guys so much okay let's get right to it um on the agenda today is i'm going to be teaching you guys on how to use a financial calculator okay great stuff so we have um all throughout school we use our scientific calculators um i think you can see it there um some people have the casio think i used a shop throughout but this is actually very useless if you go into the financial world because it has sin cost 10 we no longer use that anymore it's like it's like i'll never use sin cost 10 like ever in my life like okay and then we got introduced to in university the financial calculator all of a sudden you're doing first year and you're using a scientific calculator and now you're like no you need a financial calculator so that's the one that i was using um which obviously we need pv present value future value payments percentage very very different um things that you do with both these calculators okay so what happens when you're in a situation like me where my calculator my financial calculator actually failed me <laughs> the day before an exam and i was just like oh my gosh i went to go put in a battery it wasn't the battery and it was just like okay i can't really get one right now um because i just feel like it still can be fixed like i didn't know what was wrong with it and it was a matter of urgency and that's when i discovered that you can actually download a calculator <laughs> so this is actually very great because you can say if you have like a last minute situation like me where my calculator kind of bums out or if you just decided that you know what i don't want to buy falling a food <laughs> bloopers <laughs> i don't want to buy a financial calculator right now um let me you know kind of download this one and because you're still shopping around there are different kinds of kind of calculators and you need to decide which one you like but anyway so i'm going to teach you guys how to actually get one on your phone so i did download mine on an apple and um, i'm using an apple now i hope that you can also download the same one on android but i think so um, so you're going to search in search bar financial calculator and that's the calculator that's going to pop up. It is free. So that's what I love about it. So I've already downloaded it. Sorry guys, my ring light keeps, you know, showing and it's very frustrating. So then you're going to open the financial calculator and that's how it looks on your phone guys. What I absolutely, absolutely love is that it's already on four decimal places. Um, at the end so with my financial calculator i had to set it up on four decimal places and you guys know that the more you work with um numbers it's actually better to have it on three or four decimal places not two decimal places because of your final result and your final um answer so all right so let's get right to it and i'm going to actually do a question from FAC 3703. I'm going to insert the question right now. So the question I'll be doing will be on Unisys tutorial FAC 3703. And we're going to look on page 17. I'm going to have it on the side here with me so that you guys can have a look and we can read the same thing. I'm not going to remember, this is not a tutorial for the question i'm not a tutor i'm just teaching you guys how to use your financial calculator okay easily so it is on page 17 and it says set your shop or whatever calculator you have on beginning mode so there is beginning or end mode how do you tell the difference in the question whether it should be in beginning or end mode so if it says payment is paid in arrears arrears mean it's paid at the end so then you have to set your calculator to end mode if it says um, paid in advance or paid in the beginning, you have to um, set your calculator to begin mode. If we look at this question um, on additional information three on page 14, it says installments per month payable in advance. 
in advance means it needs to be begin mode and as per now the answer sheet it says in begin mode so how do you set your calculator up to begin mode okay we need to open it again so let me just move a little bit closer so that we can um so what you're going to do is you're going to do second function pmt which at the top says begin because it is your second function that you're using um see and it is already in begin mode that's how you check so second function pmt shows it's in begin mode now let's say we had to set it in end mode then you'd say second function enter then it says end enter and that sets it okay now to check what mode it is again i went second function begin and you see it's in end mode so it's second function pmt which shows you what mode it is then if you want to change it you second function and then enter which is set and then enter again so it will change it set so now let's change it back to um begin mode because it's in end mode then you go second function set which is begin set right and now it is in begin mode all right and then it says the memo says again and 12 y 12 py so that actually means 12 payments so um you need to decide how many payments are there going to be in this year which is also found in the question let's go back to additional information 14 remember guys i'm not tutoring you more showing you the calculator but also kind of like why this is in the calculator so it says these installments are paid per month so per month means they will be every month you're making payments that means there's going to be 12 payments for the year so that's why it says set your calculator to 12 py so what happens if it says um paid installment paid quarterly so if it's paid quarterly there are four payments it's three, six, nine, twelve. Every three months you're making payments, so there are four payments. You would then have to set that to four PY. If it says half yearly, that's every six months, half a year, you're doing payments, which means that there will be two payments in that year. Then you'd have to set it to two PY. So for this question, okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Let's start with setting it to um just half yearly, which is two payments. Just not because of the question, but so that I can just show you. So, what you're going to do is, you're going to second function. So, most of your setups is second function. Because second functions means we're, put, we're working with the yellow, um, which is on top. So, you're going to say second function PY. And it's on 12 payments, right? Because I did this question before. And then, so you want to set it to two payments because it's half yearly. So you're going to then put two and then second function, enter, enter. Okay, that's how you set. You must that, you see that it says set. So now it's on two payments per year. To check what payments it is again, second function, IY, which is PY, and it's on two payments. Um, that's when it's half yearly. If it's paid quarterly, which is every three months, it's four payments. So then... When it says 2i, then you just say 4, second function, set, set, right? And then to check it again, second function, py, okay, that didn't set. So we have to say 4, second function, enter, set, right? You must wait for it to say py is 4. And remember, guys, you set twice, right? And now let's take it back to 12 payments for you because it's paid monthly for the sake of this question. So you're going to go second function py and then 12 second function enter enter it's on 12 payments okay right now let's fill in everything that we have so um this one says so your n is your number of um months or number of years um depending on you know how it's working but it's actually number of months but um, we have to calculate that because it's paid over three years. So it's 12 times three is 36 months, right? Your PMT means your payment. How much are you actually paying for this? Um, it's 5,000 rand. And because this is money going out for this question, that 5,000 has to be a negative, right? When you put it in your calculator. Your future value is going to be zero because there is no residual value um, in the question again. Um, if there was, you would have added that. 
I is your interest rate, which is 13%, and we're looking for the present value. So we have to find the present value given all this information. Now, this information, you're going to um, get it by, you know, doing the question and then coming up to this. So we have to put in the calculator. Now, our calculator is set. We're putting in the numbers. So it's 36, then N in gray. So you first start your number and then N. And then your payment is 5,000. So it's 5,000. But remember, I said this is an outflow. So negative and then PMT, right? And then zero future value. So it's zero um, future value, right? And then 13% I. 13. Now, this I is already worked out as a percentage. Please don't divide by 100. Please don't put 0 0.13. The calculator has already seen that it's an I because you're going to put it in I. So 13 I, right? And now we're looking for the present value. So we're going to compute PV. So that's CPT again. CPT. Sorry, CPT. Present value. And see it gives you the exact same answer so cpt computing is um for what you're looking for let's say we had all the information but we're looking for the i which was the interest rate and we had the present value and everything else you're going to put in your number pv number fv number n and then compute i to get your um i oh you have to put number payment if you're looking for your payment you're going to put in your number n your number pv your number um, FV, your number I, and then compute PMT. And that's how you get your payment. So, yeah, guys, I hope for whatever reason or in whatever way, this helped you guys to be able to work your financial calculator and to use this one um, on your phone. It's fairly easy and straight to the point. Just always, always make sure you set up your, correct, your calculator perfectly because if you are in end mode, your answer will be wrong, regardless of you putting it in 12Y um, and putting in the correct information. If you are in beginning mode, but you didn't put the right amount of payments, you did quarterly, <coughs> answer is wrong. But yeah, guys, I really hope that this has helped you. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel and please like, like, like if this helped. I'm going to still be giving you a lot of tutorials. I love my tutorial kind of um videos you know i feel like i'm changing something and teaching people um so that's kind of where broke business content came about it's like okay cool if your budget is low how can you work around this how can you solve your problems so thank you guys so much i have I hope i have taught you um yeah I'll take you guys on another video bye As my glasses this whole time i don't like the ring light thing on my glasses but then i can't see <laughs> so what happened was i shot a video yesterday i was ready edited it and i deleted it so i had to start afresh this is my new video can you imagine hectic hey eh? hectic Yeah.